Some people think real music is comprised of screeching guitars, <laughs> thundering drums, <laughs> and killer special effects. Well, they're right. Metallurgy. What the hell did he just say? <laughs> it's metallurgy. Is that right? Metal. Metal. <laughs> metal detergent. Metal what? <laughs> Metallurgy quoi? It's metal. <laughs> detergent? No! It's metallurgy! metallurgy. <laughs> Hi, I'm Charlene Rochin and welcome to this edition of Metallurgy. Today our feature band is Revolution, but before we get started I'd like to say thanks to a couple of people. Uh, we have sponsors for our show now, Evans Music City and High Times. You'll be seeing some stuff about them later on in the show. I'd also like to say thanks to Celebration Computers for the access code they've given us on the 101 concert hotline. If you want to know anything about Metallurgy when we'll be out taping or when the next show is going to air, you can dial CON. C-E-R-T, access code M-E-T-L, and find out anything you always wanted to know about metallurgy. Now, before we see Revolution, I've got a couple of guys with me that don't need any introduction. If you're familiar with metallurgy and you've seen our shows before, you're going to recognize these two. I've got Kevin Ray and Brian Keith from the band Dirty Cowboys, and this will probably be the last time they're on the show for a while because they aren't paying me to do this, believe it or not. Yeah, we don't have the money to pay her. <laughs> I wouldn't accept it anyway. But, so tell me what's been going on. You guys are got some neat stuff happening. Well, for about uh, a year and a half now, we've been planning to do a record, and all the money finally came through. We've got two weeks blocked at Rampart with Steve Ames. Hopefully, we're going to have a producer by the name of Dan Workman. Hopefully, his schedule is going to allow him to be in the studio at the same time, because he's mixing Ten Buck Three's new album at the same time. And uh, that'll be started the 22nd of April. So by the time this airs, we'll probably be in the studio. And uh, we're going to do a five song CD and release it under an independent and hopefully gain a major with it. CD, wow, that's going to be pretty cool. Yeah. When do you think that um, you'll be out playing live after you're finished? Okay, yeah, we're going to have to go into the studio and rehearse for about a month. And then we'll be out probably around the beginning of June. And we're going to push the CD and, you know, sell cassettes. And we got a new management company now. We'll be out on the road uh, pushing it, selling T-shirts, merchandising, trying to make some money, as usual. And uh, hopefully by the end of the year, we'll have a deal. You guys said you were going to be going out on the road. Is there any idea how long you're going to be gone or where you're going to be going yet? Well, we're not really sure how long we'll be out, but we'll probably be touring, like, uh, Texas, Louisiana, and that's all going to be up to the management. That's company, all up to the management. Wherever yeah. they put us, we don't have control over that. So wherever the money is, wherever we can make money. Wherever we can guess. play for now, you know. We need the exposure. Well, Kevin, you just did a, a motion picture. I heard. Now you're a major motion picture star in addition to a rock god. <laughs> 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 well, I wish that were true, but uh, I got a, a very, very small role in uh, the new Sam Elliott movie, Rush, that's being filmed here in town. I was a drug dealer along with about uh, nine or ten other people, one which happened to be the guitar player for artist, Buddy. And uh, he and I had a lot of fun doing that. We shot some jail scenes and stuff, and uh, it's not a big role, but uh, it was an experience. I enjoyed it. It was fun. I'm not a drug dealer though in real life. 
So is there any idea when it's going to be coming out? The director and the director's assistant, when I talked to them before I left the set, they said it's probably going to be six to eight months. You know how Hollywood things are. Uh, well, I'll be looking for Kevin in his new movie. And I'd like to thank both of you guys for coming out, and we need to get rolling with the show. Now, I'm going to let you guys, y'all are friends with Revolution. Um, yep. Kevin and Cole did Imagine Together along with Trevor Lee Rogers and Wes Harden from Downtown Bruno, if you saw our last show. And so I'm going to let you guys intro Revolution. We, uh, Brian and I got a chance to view the taping the, uh, before any of the editing was done for the Revolution show, and it's really good. You people are going to enjoy it. So All sit right. back and watch Revolution.
one thing about this band that's different than any band I've been in is that everybody participates in everything. I think there's something really special about this band. Everybody in this band clicks real well. We're a team. Everybody in this band is so willing to compromise and do what's best for the band. And we all have enough respect for each other as musicians and we're all good friends. When you got that kind of personality together with that kind of background, it's, you know, it's just the right combination. <laughs>
think one of the things that makes us unique is we all have different influences. Everybody does have a lot of variety in this band. Gives us the ability to write a song that's a little more, um, a little more uh, straightforward. Want to try to combine the commerciality. technical I think uh, we have a distinct kind of a original sound I don't have an answer for it this is something you know you gotta listen to and you know, give you know, make your own opinion on.
every single member in the band is incredible. <laughs> I think, I think uh, Bobby plays bass just like the guitar players play guitar. I think he sings with his bass. My girlfriend's son, Jason, you know, he, he, I ta I've been teaching him how to play guitar a little bit, and he learned how to play the Ninja Turtles song. And I said, uh, oh, well, I, you know, I'll play that on stage tonight. He said, no, you won't, no, you won't. You know, he couldn't come see it, so I figured since y'all were filming it, I would do it, and then when I show it to him, he'll be impressed. <laughs> Two guitar players that are so different in style but work so well together without you know without any kind of power struggle or anything I think that uh, is absolutely incredible <laughs> Jess is just, for, for being 18 years old, I think he's one of the better drummers, you know, around. And I think when he gets to be, like, maybe 22 or 23, he'll probably be one of the, I'd say, one of the top drummers in the United States. Working with Rusty, I mean, I'm always, you know, learning stuff from him every day, you know, because he's pretty much whizzes up and down the, the fretboard all the time. So. <laughs> Everybody writes. Usually, when someone has an idea, it just brings it to the, you know, to the rest of the band. And either Rusty or Kareem will come up with a guitar riff. The band will pick it up and put their own style into it. Then me and Jess will put the back to it. But it's not like a, a, a set thing. You know? you know, some of the harmonies we have on our songs just they came out that way. And that's usually how the best material comes about.
These are the same ones you asked artists. Last night I was thinking about that explosion. <laughs> <laughs> what I should say is uh, whether we're tuned low enough, right? Well, first my knees start to shake really bad, <laughs> and then my hands start to shake. So Sometimes I get nervous and think, oh no, what if I forget what the next part is or something. I, I know I'm prepared from all the practice we do, so I don't have to really worry about anything. I'll... Once I'm up there, it's like euphoria. You know, feed off the crowd. Especially when you look out and you see some of the same faces every time and a few new ones and they're singing along with you. I mean, that's great. I don't think there's anything can beat it. I mean, just talking about it made my hair stand up on the back of my neck. You know? yeah.
Just as long as we all, you know, work together and solve all our problems beforehand, uh, uh, it can only get better. And yeah, that's about sums it up. Revolution. Well, that's going to wrap it up for this edition of Metallurgy. I'd like to say thanks again to our sponsors, Evans Music City and High Times over on Gessner. I'd also like to say thanks to Revolution. If you get a chance, go out and see Revolution Live. They put on a great show. Now, don't forget, you can dial C-O-N-C-E-R-T, access code M-E-E-T-L, and find out anything you wanted to know about metallurgy. You ought to check out some of the other access codes they have on the concert hotline. You can, I think you can dial 9 and find out all the different access codes that are available. Now, the credit music is going to be a little bit different this time. We're using credit music from Dirty Cowboys. You heard Kevin and Brian telling you about the new CD they're going to be recording. Well, this is a song off that CD called Gone for Years, and I think you're going to like it, so stick around. We'll see you later. Bye. You can't get a very good grip on there. No. Stop it. Well, you pick him up. And they, yeah, really. They I cannot brush you roaches. I mean, I'm all for animals. I know, but I can't stand roaches. to hear stuff. You're going to have to pick him up with your fingers. I'm not picking him up with my finger. It's like picking it up with your teeth. There you go. Your okay. Thank you, Jennifer, for rescuing us. Here, here, here. Come on. Come on. Oh, you're wrong. <laughs> I'll be right back. <laughs> Come on, dude. Do it. He does look at me. Do it. Ah, so you want to be a jet tie, huh? <laughs> <laughs> So they said they said it held it. Oh